Hey there guys, it's Jamie. Um, this video I'm actually going to show you how I store my clear stamps. Um, clear stamps are awesome. Uh, you get a whole bunch of images, big, small, you know, just a whole bunch in one pack. Um, and the packs are usually really affordable compared to a red rubber stamp. Um, a red rubber stamp can cost you anywhere from two to twenty four dollars depending on where you buy it and you can actually get a clear set for pennies on the dollar compared to that and you're getting more than one image the only problem that comes to clear stamps is how to store them um i've only been using clear acrylic stamps for probably about a year and i already have about 300 sets um, it's something that you start and then you cannot stop. You're like, oh my gosh, I have to have the set, you know, so I can do something else with it. And it gets out of hand quickly. But the thing with Claire Stamps is once you start collecting them, there's a whole lot of packages you have to deal with. And it gets really, really difficult to try to find the stamps you have, to know what stamps you have when you go to the store, because you can't remember every single stamp set you actually have. So um, what I'm actually going to show you guys is my easiest and cheapest way to store the stamps, because I'm frugal. Like I say in all, everything that I do, the less I can spend on storage or, you know, making things, the more I can spend in other scrapbooking supplies such as stamps. So um, what I found out with actual stamps is there's multiple ways that people store them. Um, a lot of people store them in the clear DVD cases that have no hub in them. Um, one second. Ha, I have one. It says a, a Stampin' Up set. They come in these DVD cases, but as you see, there's no place to stick the DVD. You can buy these. You can buy these online. Um, they're awesome, but they're pricey. Now, I say they're pricey because they're anywhere from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five a piece, which is okay if you're just starting out and you have 10 stamp sets. Go ahead, buy them. It's a great thing to start. Um, that way you can get everything organized and everything set and it'll be a lot easier in the long run. But um, I got about 200 sets in and I realized that my life was being overran by these stamp sets and it's so stupid. I understand like why is my life being ran over by these stamp sets but it's 200 packages of stamps and it gets out of hand really fast, especially when you're trying to accomplish one project and you're having to root through 200 stamp sets to get the exact stamp you want and you don't even know what stamps you have. So um, I came up with a lot cheaper um, alternative to storing the clear stamps. Um, what I do is I go to my office supply store and I buy these guys. Um, these are just your regular letter size, the eight and a half by 11 uh, manila envelopes. And what I do with them is I cut them down to about six and a quarter inches maybe. And I label them. Um, I label them with who the manufacturer is, what the name is, the item number, and the UPC. You don't have to put all that kind of information on it. I do. Don't know why, I do. And I also place a number on the label. There's a good reason for that because when you have as many stamp sets as that I have, you want them to be numbered because here's my binder of goodies, all right? These are my stamps. I have them all numbered based on what the number is here with an image so i know exactly is what is on that set is in this envelope so this envelope is number 123 it's my mind's eye all is bright so i'm going to go to 123 and it's going to match up exactly this has been the biggest lifesaver i have ever encountered with these stamps um it's just ridiculous um how much easier and how much quicker i can get projects done and get things done and um, I found it. Here's 123. It is my mind's eye. All is bright. It's there. 
it's organized. So if I'm going through and, you know, I'm trying to finish a project, I'm like, oh my gosh, what stamp should I use? Do I have this stamp? I don't know if I have this stamp. I can go through the book. I can look at all of the images. I can go, yeah, all right, I'm going to use this flower. And then I go, okay, it is 066 A and B. I'm going to go over to my shelf that's got all of these magical folders in it. And I'm going to find 066 A and B and it will be there. So much easier. Um, so what I'm actually going to show you is how to make the folders. They're extremely easy um, and extremely cheap. You can get a hundred of these for $5.50 at Walmart. Um, and that literally puts them at got what like six cents a storage solution versus a dollar to a dollar twenty five. So it made it a lot more affordable for me to organize all of my stamps. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to take my cutter. And I had a lot of questions on what cutter this was. Um, this is the Fisker's Rotary Cutter. Um, it's been a lifesaver. I used to have the one that just had the solid blade and you used to have to change it like every single time you went cropping. And it got really expensive and really out of hand. It got to the point to where, you know, every single crop you're buying a blade and that's ridiculous. So um, I found out that the Rotary Cutter, I literally only change a blade maybe every six months to a year. And the blades with a 50% off coupon are $3 for two of them. So yeah, the cutter's a little bit more to begin with, but the blades will run you less in the long run. So you just have to figure it out that way. All right, so I have my folder. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I marked it um, on my actual cutter. I don't know if you can see that or not right here. Um, mark yours that way too, if this is gonna be something that you wanna do. Um, I think it is five and seven eighths of an inch, maybe. <laughs> I'm really bad at this, but that's why I marked mine. So I don't have to try to figure out every time. So you want your flat side to the top of the cutter. You want the side down, because if not, it'll be really difficult to cut. Right, and I'm going to place it right to my, oops, I place it right to my red dot. And I'm going to cut it. All right, this piece right here, I use for embossing folders, and I'll show you that in another video, um, the way I do it, and it's, I save everything, and you'll see that, I, I do, I save everything, because everything has a use. All right, um, and then what I do with this after that is, because I stick mine all in plastic containers, and it's a lot easier to shove things in plastic containers if they have a rounded edge to them, I'm literally gonna round the corner. Um, this is with my We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper, it's like the best thing ever invented. And I'm gonna use the big circle. Nope, nope, small one. Okay. I'm just gonna round the corners up. Yeah, it looks like a lot of work, but you'll end up catching up to it really fast and it'll be easy. All right, so corners are rounded. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my regular stapler and I'm gonna go as close to the edge as possible. And I'm going to staple and of course, my trusty super old stapler would fail on me. So I'm gonna grab my little handy dandy small stapler that I'm praying has staples in it and finish the stapling. I do three on each side. All right, three on each side. And then um, I have just pick up a stamp set that I have already. Um, this is the Scrappy Cat Flower Flourish. All right, so what I would do is I would actually pull out um, little labor pe label pieces and I'll highlight them to make them all match because I'm crazy like that. Everything's got to match. And I would put the number of what it's going to be, manufacturer, you know, everything else like that. And now I'm literally going to leave it in the package and I'm going to slide it in here. Then it'll go on my shelf of all my other stamps and it has a nice little safe home away from the sunlight and away from any extreme elements of heat or cold or anything else because if you don't treat your stamps like little royal kings that they are, 
they'll be destroyed. Um, they'll get yellow, and for some stamps, when they get yellow, they start stretching, and you end up trying to stamp with jelly, and it doesn't work. I mean, they're terrible to even work with. And clear stamps, I find, are um, a little bit more finicky than the red rubber stamps. So this way, if they're light safe, you know, everything will be fine. Can't get the sunlight. You know, I leave them inside and I'll leave them out in a shed or something. They're in my scrapbook room near all my stuff. And they are treated with the utmost respect that they deserve because they cost, the cost is great. Alrighty, um, that is it. If you have any questions, um, just let me know and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And if I have a lot of the same question, I will go ahead and make another video. Um, thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.